Hello everybody, welcome to another Shigen Toriyaki episode. Today, we're going to take a look at the Invasion mod. Now, some of you people might know about it. Um, it has been around for quite some time. Um, I actually didn't know it was still active. I thought it was long gone. Uh, since I hadn't played it since, like, back in a beta build. I don't actually remember which beta. Uh, but for people that don't know, the invasion mod consists of, well, essentially your base is getting attacked and you need to defend the nexus, which is this little black thing right here. Uh, we input one of these cataclysms in here and it's going to tap into the nexus and generate a powerful mineral that we can upgrade source and even generate diamonds with. Uh, the issue with it being that it also releases a ton of nightmarish mobs that will try to destroy it. Uh, so your job is to defend your castle and your settlement with whatever you got. Um, and see how long you can make it, essentially. So, I've set up a little base here. Um, let's actually jump into game mode. Yeah, let's see, game mode 1. There we go. Um, so here is my little chicken pen, as you can tell. We got a mining facility, we got a witch wizard tower, we got a stable, we got some food supply. A library and a smithy. Um, I actually don't have anything to do in this area, so if anybody has a good suggestion for that, leave that in the comment section below. Uh, because right now it's it's empty. Uh, a bit here and there, 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 and in each of the corner of the city, I place chest that all holds three stacks of arrows, so I can just replenish my inventory there a bit, because there's going to be a lot of mobs in the end of the day. So I thought we are going to try and hold out for as long as we can and see how it goes essentially. I need to defend my dear villagers. So let's jump back at her to normal survival. And go right ahead and pick up all this stuff that I have given myself because I'm a greedy son of a bitch. There we go. Uh, we probably won't use the axe. I'm going to actually be got a lot of inventory as soon as I put this on. There we go. Beautiful, right around there. So, a bit of basic supplies to be able to rebuild potential breaches that will undoubtedly be made in my wall. Uh, let's go over the defenses a bit quick, shall we? Um, so, the wall is three blocks thick. Um, one, the middle section being lava, of course, to make sure they can't just breach it any way they like. The core itself is protected in a similar, similar manner with... Uh, this thing, lava, and then this thing. The floor is obsidian, and below that is another layer of obsidian to make sure they can't just dig through it without me noticing. So yeah, well, let's see how it goes. We are going to go ahead, because I am kind of confident in my defense, and we're going to put in the hardest cataclyst. Now, you got a stable cataclyst, which generates uh, floods of enemies, some knights, when uh, you're playing like a normal survival game. So that's for the ones that want to do like a normal Let's Play series, but just want to get attacked regularly. And then you want to be able to use a stable Cataclyst. For people that just want to go ahead and do the invasion normally, that would be the Nexus Cataclyst. And for the people that have already built a castle or something like that, or they believe in their defenses, they go ahead and use a strong Cataclyst. So I'm suicidal. Uh, I mean, I believe in my defenses. So we're going to go ahead and activate it using this. And uh, within a second, the hordes of hell will be upon us. There we go. It's activated. You can see there. Alphafian's life is now bound to the Nexus. First wave is coming soon. See to the defenses. To the walls, men. Which would only be me. We're going to go ahead and close the gate. Uh, run up to my wall and start looking. Yeah, see, they've got a one. Pigment engineer. So there's a few different classes uh, that do a few different tasks. For example, let's just take a look down here too. 
You got the pigment engineer, as you can see, he's equipped with a ladder and he can build bridges uh, and also build ladders to get over your walls. He can also very efficiently dig tunnels to invade you from below. You see, you got a spider coming in over here. You can kind of tell by the way they're navigating the terrain that they're they're not ordinary mobs. You can see this is a guy with a mission, but he's dead, so I don't mind. I really should get like a car that could transport me all around the base instantly. So, anyways, you got an engineer, pigman. You got cave trolls that launches rocks. Yeah, you got normal normal zombies, and you got armored zombies and weaponized zombies like the guy you can see up there but we are not gonna let them attack us we will not stand for these guys to invade us now if the nexus is destroyed it has a 100% health part look at this son of a bitch he's building ladders up on our walls get off you son of a bitch and this is a high jumping spider you can tell by the blue ah oh, shit we got an archer duel coming on piss off they have actually gone ahead and built a bridge over my wall. Yeah, you want some? You want some? Come on then, come up here. There you go. I'm gonna go ahead and remove some of that. There we go. A large number of mobs are slipping through the Nexus Rift. Now that's bad, because that's like an extra big wave. And you can tell over there comes the, the really fat ogre over there. That would be the rock lobbing cave troll. The one we want to keep an eye out. Oh, come on. What are you doing? The pigman is like doing something sketchy. I don't like it. Oh, you have a pickaxe. You're going to mine your way into the Nexus? I don't believe so, my friend. I can see that spider there. I want to get him down because he has a very slow reload time, as one could imagine. But his rocks do hurt a lot. And we don't want that. Are you like waving hi to me? Oh shit, you distracted me! <laughs> you sneaky devil, they have... Oh Jesus, see, these spiders, they are not nice in any way. They just fucking lob at you like it's nobody's business. I am now in trouble. I'll get going on that next episode. I can hear the zombies. They're pushing on the other side of this wall, I believe. I heard an explosion going off. I do believe that's a cave troll on the offensive. They've all stacked up down here. Get out of here. I need, like, boiling oil or something to be able to pour down on them. So as you can imagine, there's quite a few things you could do with this mod. Uh, apparently it's very friendly when it comes to mod packs and so forth. And can really go together with a lot of things. So if you have a modded base, chances are you're going to be, be able to use that all the same. Now, I did hear an explosion. And I don't like explosions, because that's usually something very bad. Here comes a spider trying to navigate into my base. There we go, get out. Get out of here. Oh, see, he spawned that kind of thing, and you want to destroy that. Fast. I think it got destroyed, yeah. Because that one spawns a bunch of baby spiders, and they're nightmarish, because they are one block big and can literally flood you. We've got a pig engineer that's invading! Yeah, you get off the farmer's roof. What are you doing over there? No building bridges. Hello, you are... I don't know if he is actually working his attack pattern perfectly. Well, 12 is... Look at this! The pigmen are hitting hard on this area over here. No, sir. None of that stuff from you. Thank you very much. If you guys want to suggest maps or something like you want me to defend, go ahead and do that. I am open to all kinds of suggestions. But be, ad be very advised that I can only sp make the mob spawn at a range of at least 125. So I can't go any higher than that. So if you guys, you know, want me to do like defense of Hogwarts, be well aware that you know, Hogwarts is a lot bigger than a radius of 125. So they're probably going to spawn a bit inside the base. But, you know, I will probably be able to do all those really cool Games of Thrones maps that are out there. So if you guys would like to see a defense of any of those cities, let me know. Because I'd be 
More than glad, Jesus Christ. Okay, they are chewing through the rock. Stop that. Get off there. I can hear them, but I can't see them. They're building like a highway over there. Over here, oh my god, over here they're pushing through. Piss off. No zombie eating the wall. No zombies allowed. I'm still curious about those explosions I heard from earlier. Uh, it's probably a troll that's stuck somewhere. The thing is, he's not gonna go away. He's gonna be around forever and ever. Forever and ever. It's a very long time, poo. If any one of you have seen that movie, I love you. It was my childhood movie. I watched it all the time. Now, where did those engineers go? You want to keep an eye out on the engineers, because they are the ones that could really pull one number on your defenses. I mean, the spiders and so forth can't really do much once they're here. Except to distract me. Ah, frame drops. The spiders. Oh dear, this is bad, however. Get off my wall. They're down there right now, trying to dig their way through the lava, but it's doing them in. The zombie pigmen are just about getting through here now. And I do believe they are immune to lava. So they might actually completely ignore my defenses. Creds to them. Bled their little souls. Right then, my villagers seem okay. How the f that's that's however very bad. I think he died when he jumped in from the roof. You're hiding in there. Well, aren't you a brave one? How the hell? Yeah, he dropped straight into there. Where did he come from? There's no... Oh, there they are. We need to trace his steps. He came up from over there. Let's see. Yeah, look at that son of a bitch. He built right through here. Oh. I swear to God, you better keep an eye out for these guys, because they are sneaky bastards. We're going to just fill it in like that. Make sure that the defenses are holding. But you can see, they can really outdo you. What the f... Yeah, there he is. I knew he was around. You see, he lobs those rocks at you in a desperate attempt to hit you with them. As of now, it's cool. we got nothing to worry about. Wave 15, ain't no worry. Hello, that's blocks flying. Get out of here. So there we have an issue. As we could see like a fraction of a second. Because now they changed up their strategy. Going. Yeah, hello the zombie. Going over the wall did not work. So now they're pushing their way in through it. Entering that hole a second before it was too late is this guy. Did they just crack a hole? Yeah, they just cracked a hole. Can I, like, trying to find the... I cannot, alright, let's just do that then. So they have now forced a hole in my wall. And that's bad in so many ways. And that spider is gonna hatch a few spiderlings. That rock was headed for me, wasn't it? Hey, fuck yourself. So, as of now... Oh god, that's so disgusting! I hate when there are multiple bugs like that! Oh my god, there's so many of them! Piss off, spider! You're the reason behind this! Go fuck yourself! So this is really a bad area. Good thing these guys have, like, no health. Wave 16 about to begin. Oh, that's just great, isn't it? I'm so worried about this farmhouse because I'm just, you know, waiting for the moment about it bursting through and like hundreds and hundreds of guys are just gonna flood out carrying the farmer's head or something. Dressed fucking dramatically like that. Try to crack the wall there and then work out for them. Being armored and all. Hello. Hello? What the fuck? The sons of bitches have breached the gate! Crap. 
Ball sack. All right, let's try blocking this up with what we got. Okay, you know what? Fuck the cobblestone. We want to make it look more realistic. So we are going to block everything with wood. So we're going to use ordinary wood. God bless. And block off the wall with. I'm going to have to keep an eye out for the main gate now. Because it's not going to hold on for long. Wood is one of the more breakable materials, as you can imagine. Oh my god, they have breached the alchemy tower. That explains the panic attack from earlier. Yeah, hello. How the hell did you get in? Oh, of course. He's, he has walked through everything. I have nothing to block that with. I mean, I can't use anything on this. This is pretty a tough spot. Let's just make a simplified wooden barricade away from the fire. Oh yeah, that's bad, that's bad. <laughs> the fucking tower is now messed up. Let's block that up like this real quick. What the hell? How did you get in? Get out of here! How did he get... Okay, close these doors. We're gonna have to... Did they breach the fucking mine shaft? Okay. <gasps> the sneaky sons of bitches breached the mine shaft! Oh, that's very bad. So now we're going to have to watch out for the mine shaft in the future. See how they're going to flood through there. Shit. That fucking barricade did not work. Yeah, obviously. And they have once again worked their way over here. Gonna have to pick out that archer. That being hit myself. There you go. And they shoot through this door. Is it through here they keep coming? Here there is. Look at this! They had like an entire fucking digging by cane going on here. It's gonna do it like this. There go, they shouldn't be able to walk their way through there now. Oh my god, they are here. They came in through here now too. Okay, so you know what? I'm just gonna do this completely. Oh, what the hell? Where are the zombies? Oh no, this is very bad. Okay, so they have gotten all the way into the Nexus now. We're going to... Why isn't the thing closing? There it is. Okay, we need the sword upgrade. And that's fast. Is it like this then? Oh, come on. I know there's a way that you can make... Hello, this is bad. This is very bad. Oh, dear. Hmm. We have an issue. That I did not quite foresee. Find the fucking leak and plug it. Ow. Shit. This is very bad. Come on. Oh dear. <laughs> Don't look so judgingly at me. I'm trying to fix this leak, villager. I'm trying to save your life. Fucking zombie pigmen in here. Come on, close this thing up. I kind of painted myself into a corner here. And the zombie pigmen are moving in now. I am pretty... Oh, sorry, villager. I'm gonna do that. And we're gonna... Shit. Um... Okay, we're gonna just gonna leg it out. Like that, there we go. Okay, we're gonna have to run up to the roof and make sure none of them gets through. Oh my god. Fucking spider nightmare right here. Oh no, 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 they're still gonna be... gonna be... Yee! I don't want all the spiders. Oh god, just the noise drives me nuts. No, close that door. We're not going. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. 
And they're all over here too. And there's spiders, and there's mobs, and there's creepy nightmarish thing. Okay, people, I think we're approaching the end. Since the main gate is breached. What the hell? Oh, not this again. Okay, guys, so after a bit of fighting, it appears that the game has played out on me. Um, so, yeah, first of all, the lava. I wanted to test. I blocked it off and, you know, let them attack the Nexus, but the Nexus is not taking any damage. I'm not taking any damage. Um, so, I think the battle is more or less over at this point. Uh, I think it is because I had to pause the game at one point and came back in, so maybe that w made it glitch out like this. Um, so that's unfortunately a bit sad, but I bet it's going to run better next time. Uh, but before we go, let's take a look over at the damages that has been done. I mean, firstly, over here, they weren't busy digging. I mean, come on. Did they actually get through this too, no? I think the only zombies actually drilled here, so I never think that they got a chance with the zombie pigmen to push through too. But the lava defense has definitely worked. I mean, look, they did not make any progress whatsoever beyond that second block. So that was kind of a bad side for them to attack on. I mean, the, pi the in the end, the engineers managed to build a little bridge there. But again, it only worked for the zombie pigmen, but... Nevertheless, let's move on. Over on this side, uh, we got the water that did most people in. We also got an entrance in here. Did that actually lead them somewhere? I mean, yes, it did lead them into the walls. I suppose that the zombie pigmen could use that entrance. I bet some of them did. Um, here's an engineer at work. He built his bridge over there and walked the entire way over there and then snuck right over. Clever. Now, I'm interested about this side, because here's where people did most of the... Ah, I love the little platform you built for your friends there. Cool. You you really are a team player, buddy. Anyways, um, I want to see, like, the cave system. Oh, look, the Nexus is taking damage now. Is that going to keep up, or did it just do that once time? Okay, so the Nexus is actually taking damage. So I don't know. I had to restart the Nexus. So maybe it's the new mobs that are arriving that can actually do damage to the current Nexus. I don't know. But that's very good. Because this means that all of the mobs are going to respawn and we're going to be allowed to surveillance everything with a bit more peace and quiet. Let's just destroy it so you guys see what happens. Next time when I'm playing one of the maps you guys suggested, I'm actually going to go ahead and just try to do everything in one sitting and not cut it short like I had to do this time. Um, also, while we're waiting for this HP to go down, please go ahead and comment on how you want me to do these videos in themselves. Like, you'd, would you like to see uh, best of moments or would you like to see full long episodes? Because, I mean, this fight... It can go on for like an hour at least. Uh, if I have a much better designed and defended castle, I suppose it can go on for even longer than that. Also, when you guys do suggest maps, remember, try to pick maps that have a room that I can place it in like floor level. Because uh, if it goes like, if I would have placed the Nexus on top of there, um, and then in case it's in another room, the spiders would be able to get in and these guys have an issue navigating indoors uh, going upwards but you know we can always give it a shot um, but there's a risk and that won't work at all uh, so do keep that in mind when suggesting maps let's see this final kaboom then it goes kaboom no no kaboom there it goes cool so that killed everything in, except of the villagers, obviously. But there we are. So let's keep looking over the damage here. Um, so unfortunately, it's not like an epic mushroom cloud or something. But it's to make sure that you can actually do go ahead and expect the, like the damage done afterwards. I mean, some of these guys got the most unfortunate of spawn points. I mean, look, there's a guy who spawned way back 
over here. Jesus, he was dedicated, son of a bitch, wasn't he? Over here he spawned and he has dug his way all the way over here. We've got an engineer navigating through the train as well. I love it. I love it to see, like, the computer at work like this, thinking of, oh, what's the easiest way to get in? Oh, I know. I'm going to make a quarter mile tunnel. They can be really creative. Now, let's sneak down into this cave, because I get a feeling that they use this cave. Yep. Oh, yeah, this was the one we discovered, and apparently they did reopen it. So I blocked that off. Tried to dig through here, but nothing came out of that. That fruit didn't bear any labor. I don't know if that's the way the saying goes. An engineer spawned all the way down here and navigated his way to the surface. I mean, give these guys credit for being stubborn. Well, look, we were on the entire... No, I was going to say, sorry, that was me doing dumb. Anyways, let's go rotate all the way over here to the front. Where, in the end, would have done me in if the mod would have worked properly there. Because they have breached the gate and <laughs> flooded the main entrance here. All the way in. And the pigmen, again, if it would have worked, the pigmen would have just completely ignored the lava and walked in and killed everyone. A lot of pigmen walking in over here too. So anyways, thank you so much for watching people. Leave your thoughts of the d today in the comment section below. It can be music. It can be a little phrase that just makes you very, very happy. Don't forget to leave a suggestion of what you want me to do with this mod. And I see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.